I'm going to be talking about <laughs> one really devastating thing that women do really to themselves. Um, obviously, it impacts men as well because it goes back to the same old thing. So I'm going to be talking about drug addict women or drug addicted women and how they be junkie maxing and drug maxing to combat their problems. It's uh, pretty much a form of escapism that a lot of drug addict women do and use. And one of the reasons why women would rather be drug addicts is because it actually gives them the power to shut off everything. It's a, it's their way of giga coping with not wanting to face reality. And that's one of the reasons why most women that use drugs do drugs. They do it because, number one, they're already the weaker sex and they're very codependent on things, uh, especially when it comes to drugs. Women, every woman I've met from especially fucking Gen X women to millennial women were major fucking junkie maxers. They were a bunch of junkies and they they would rather honestly do drugs than even have a job, build a career, um, especially g trying to get away from building a family. Um, I've talked to some drug drug addicted women in the past and they would tell me that the drugs that they do are the best feeling. They even say it themselves that it's even better than sex. That's how brutal that is. Like women are that are drug addicts would rather much get off to synthetics and narcotics than a physical man. Okay, and I'm not trying to depress anybody here. I'm trying to get you to see how depressing women can become for themselves. Forget about you because, I mean, you're already pretty much out of the picture the minute these women start to, you know, do drugs and start to junkie max. And so the reason why I'm talking about this is because even though these women do these things, guess who they're getting the money from, okay? They're getting it from mainly so-called, air quote, sexually addicted men, which is not true. There's no such thing, to, to me, there's no such thing as sexual addiction, okay? Because I've researched it, I researched it, and... I found some articles, psychologists and doctors say that there is no such thing as sexual addiction because it's not going to stop you from eating, right? So even if, if you're clinically sexually addicted, you're still going to eat. You're going to eat more than fuck more. So that's why some doctors on some end say there's no such thing as sexual addiction. The way they classified sexual addiction is more on the scale of hyper uh, hypersexual, okay? Especially for men, it just there's some men out there that have a very very high levels of testosterone and libido, so they're just hypersexual. But it doesn't mean that they can do anything without having to have sex. It just means that they're more uh, hyper focused on having sex with women, especially heterosexual males. And so it really depresses me on some scale that women would rather just do drugs than even be with a man that's going to actually better her. It's going to build her up. Women would rather destroy themselves trying to escape that reality all just for the pleasure of feeling high. Okay. Now, the funny thing about that is that it's counterproductive because... The women that are saying this are also the main women that are selling them bodies. M most of the junky women I've talked to, drug addicts, they all mainly got the easiest form of money by selling themselves, you know, and they make it very obvious. And sometimes they can be very honest and be like, hey, look, I'm, I'm a drug addict. I just need some money and, you know, I'll take care of your sexual needs. I've literally heard guys and that I've talked to in the past 
tell me that that's what women be doing, be approaching them for uh, money in return for sexual pleasures, sexual favors. And so <laughs> it just makes me laugh because even though these women try to find some sort of escapism from male nature, they end up going back to it. Okay, they still got to depend on male uh, sexuality because they need the money and they want a quick, easy fix high. And the only way they can get that quick, easy fix is by simply, once again, selling themselves to men sexually. Okay, now usually there's a definition and a wording for this in the black pill, in the black pill, which is called the. Uh, junkie maxers, dumpster divers, and, um, you know, basically just bottom line would be dumpster diving, which I really don't recommend. Um, you know, these women are always going to put drugs for more first because it helps them cope with how fucked up their lives are. You see what I'm saying? Um, I got really fucking shocked at how many, when I found out how many women are actually drug codependent, uh, from boomer women to Gen X women, millennial women, and Zoomer women. Now, in my experience, Gen X women were the fucking worst of drug addicts. Every time I would put on a TV show like Cops or DEA, uh, and shit like that, most of the women that were drug addicts were from Generation X. And they look really nasty and really trashy. But um, it just shows you how women hate just being dependent on men. But at the same time, they would rather be dependent on narcotics than a, than a physical man. Even uh, from when they can't... This is what happens when women don't have access to the welfare state or the government, big daddy government... They, 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 they stoop so low to the point where they don't care that it destroys them. I honestly think women have even an a executrix, a executrix fetish. I think some women just kind of desire destroying themselves because they don't see any pleasure anywhere else other than getting high and knowing that they're just going to go out in a pleasurable way because these women do end up dying. Uh, I've seen cases where women overdose on fentanyl and they're laying down dead and and they're just addicted to this incredibly strong high that gets them off sexually, mentally, physically and all kinds of uh, weird aspects. And so the reason why I'm making this video is because I'm trying to warn guys to not be a dumpster diver unless you really don't have options. Then I understand it. But now Lamprey Milt from MGTOW Chats always wanted to do a live stream on dumpster diving. I never did it because I never got with him, but this is something that really should be your last resort. And I really don't recommend it because these women are among some of the most filthiest, nastiest harlots that you'll ever come across. Um, and so a lot of these women sell themselves for a very, very low price. Sometimes it can go literally as low as five, ten, twenty dollars, you know, and that's for like all three things of the menu. You see what I'm saying? So if it's that cheap, the the more they do it, the more likely they are to catch something because there's a lot of broke guys out there as well who are going to have some sort of infection or STI and she's going to contract that from him. So I highly do not recommend you to dumpster dive unless you know the person is very clean and very safe, which more than likely it's like 1% of those women, probably 2%. The majority of them are trashy. They don't have anything to go for. They don't have anything to live on. They're just basically getting high every day because it makes them feel better. They're also coping with the fact that they're nobody. They're, they're pretty much dead in the water women. They're, there's no future for them. There's no hope. They don't care anymore. And I've met, I've seen, and I've met a few junkie women. I've definitely seen a lot. But the ones that I've talked to and interviewed just, you know, by myself, um, they, they have a serious addiction to drugs a lot more than anything else. 
And it's really depressing that they would rather throw away their lives for drugs than even, even Chad and Tyrone. Like even the bad boys and the thugs and all that other bullshit. They would rather be codependent of a synthetic opioid narcotic than a physical human being. So all this shows is that once again, I don't give a fuck what other people say. Women are more emotional. There always will be far more than men, especially when it comes to uh, the codependence of males. Women would rather be emotionally driven to drugs than emotionally driven to monogamy or marriage or relationships, right? And so even though they try to stay away from most men, they still have to be codependent of a man's money. Because, again, that's the easiest way they can get money to get their drug is by, you know, having sex with random different men and um, basically selling themselves to the lowest bidder. And so this has to be talked about because I've also met women that didn't look like drug addicts and they were doing drugs. Hell, I found I found this video on Twitter where these freaking, I think they were like high school girls that got caught in the restroom by another female uh, doing coke. They were literally snorting a line of coke in the, in the girls' restroom. And it just shows that the women of today are really stupid because it, it, at the end of the day, it comes down to emotions and feelings, and women are going to do whatever it makes them feel good and great. They're not logical creatures when it comes to, especially when it comes to uh, male sovereignty, they're they're only logical when it benefits them, but they're mainly emotional, emotionally irrational about things that are actually good and logically correct for them, because it pisses them off that they have to follow those guidelines to be a better female, and instead they want to rebel, but even when they rebel, they rebel in the worst ways, which actually destroys them. Even when men rebel, like, yeah, of course, it'll, some men that rebel will also destroy themselves depending on how they rebel. But for women, it destroys them overall. Okay? They can't have access to the government, welfare, state programs. They don't have Section 8 vouching for housing. They don't have anything of that. But, man, was I also kind of shocked when I messed with some of the fucking escorts that didn't look like junkies. You know, one time I was messing with one and she pulled out a little something and started doing it while I was smashing her. I was like, what the fuck? I literally stopped and I was like, okay, I'm out of here. Because it just proves the point that women have to get high to do these things. And sometimes they don't even have to get high. They just love having sex and doing drugs at the same time, which it goes back to feelings. That proves that women are still way more emotional about everything. In order for them to get by, they have to be super codependent on drugs and narcotics and synthetics. Now, again, my best advice for men, regardless of nationality or race, is stay away from women like that because they're, they're 10 times worse than even women on Tinder or all these other women you see even out in public. Hell, some of these women out in public and on Tinder, they're also drug addicts, but they're very covert about the way they do it they're very good at hiding it but every woman that i've met especially white women were the worst when they had some sort of drug habit it was either meth or heroin it wasn't really uh weed or coke most of the gen x white women and millennial women that i met and talked to that were drug addicts you know they were into meth or heroin primarily and so it's really sad and you may ask well how do you talk to these women i mean i'm a, I'm a night owl I, I live and work at night i explore things at night sometimes i stop by gas stations is typically or certain avenues and areas and stores and you know women approach me asking me for money in the past they haven't done so recently but in the past especially during during the pandemic you know, they were like codependent about that. And so once again, it just proves that uh, men are being left for dead, even when it comes to drug addict women.
Drug addict women would rather be drug addicts than wanting to be paired up in a relationship with men. Hell, even if you're a good looking guy, that's still not going to save you because the feelings and the highs that she gets from drugs are far more better and surpassing than anything that a man can give them. And that is why uh, a lot of modern day women are so gone. They're not worth even talking about or reproducing with or maintaining, entertaining. So unfortunately, it is what it is.